Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to insert a lattice object on the model and show you how you can get to a good representation in 2D and 3D with just a few clicks. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! So, first of all, I will start by inserting electrical components in the model. We find them in the electrical toolbox. I will start by inserting a switch. I click here and the product database is opened. On the left, I find the list of filter and on the right, I find the list of products of the selected filter. Uh, above, we find all the filters. For example, I could insert or type gang and only products with gang in the description will be displayed. In this case, I will select this flush mounted to gang switch and click OK. Here we find the mounting height of this switch in which I could change the reference and the distance mounting height. I would just let as it is and click OK. To insert the product in the model, we can make use of snaps. For example, DDS CAD recognizes a snap 15 cm from doors. For the snaps to be recognized, the function uses snap points must be activated. And the shortcut for this function is the number one in the keyboard. So I will left click and attach the object in the model. Now I will insert a socket. To do so, first I will uh, finish this function by pressing escape and I will get back to the electrical toolbox and select the socket function. Now I will select the flush mounted sockets uh, filter and I will select the first product in the list and click OK. Now I will insert the socket in the same alignment or in the same snap as I have inserted the switch. Now we'll press escape to close the function. Let's see the result in 3D. As you can see, I would like to have this uh, vertical alignment for the switch and socket. But if we go to the 2D, this is not a good representation. So to have a better representation in 2D but maintain the, the vertical alignment, I'll make use of a function called arranges combination. So I'll select both objects, right mouse click and select the, the option arranges combination. As you can see, DDS CAD already applied an offset in the socket and put the socket above. Um, first of all, I could change the direction of this um, alignment, of this range. So I could insert like horizontal, as you can see. But in this case, I want to have this vertical. Second, I, I don't want to have the socket above, but I would like to have the upper object in a vertical alignment above. To do so, we use this 2D order. So I will switch to the option below and then the switch, which is above in the vertical alignment is now above here in a 2D representation. I can also change the offset in the 2D symbols. Instead of 100, I would like to have 20 millimeters, as you can see. Now, to show you the use of these using mounting zones, I will stick for the 3D representation. So I will press OK, escape, and I will select the objects in the 3D representation, right mouse click and select the arranges combination. As you can see with the use mounting zones active, the objects maintain the mountains, uh, the mounting heights that were selected uh, when we insert the objects in the model. If I deactivate this option, uh, the object below will be attached to the upper object. And then we could insert a 3D objects offset, for example, 300 millimeters. Okay, so just let as it was before with the use mounting zones option active and press OK. Now I want to show you the result for the ranges combination in a horizontal direction. To do so, I will select this socket and copy paste three times. In order to recognize the wall surface, I press and hold the control key. So here they are in 2D and 3D, but they are not correctly aligned. So I will select in 2D the three objects, right mouse click and select the ranges combination option. As you can see, DDS CAD uh, suggests that the best uh, orient, uh, direction in this case is the horizontal, but I also could change for the vertical. 
So let's select this horizontal and I can insert 150 as 2D offset. But for the 3D, I don't want any offset. So they will be one close to the other. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any questions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!